Hi guys, this is Subavid. If today is the first time of stopping by, you are most definitely welcome. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you for tuning in once again. So basically, I'm an international student based in Canada and I share my life experiences here as an international student. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, kindly do well to hit on the subscribe button down below to subscribe to my channel. And if you haven't checked out any of my previous videos, kindly do well to check them out as well. So today I'm going to be talking about how to find a part-time job as an international student here in Canada. So stick and stay and let's go straight into the video. an international student there are um, two types of jobs that are available to you either you are doing on-campus jobs or off-campus jobs now because the on-campus jobs are quite limited um, most international students find themselves you know looking for off-campus jobs because off-campus jobs offer you know a lot for the masses and there are different kinds of off-campus jobs so it depends on what your interest is or where exactly you would want to work or the kind of job you'd want to do that's up to you so yeah so when i landed in september i did my little research and then i realized that home care jobs pay quite better as compared to you know the other jobs so i decided to you know actively go after home care jobs even though I was still applying for other kinds of jobs as well. So with the, with the home care jobs, I realized I needed um, a first aid certificate. So I booked um, an appointment, sorry, I booked training, right, for the first aid certificate. It was just for a day, right? So I booked and then I went for the training. I think it lasted for like um, five to six hours, if I'm correct, yeah. And then a few days later, the certificate was sent to me. So now I could apply for home care jobs as well. The website most people use to find jobs is indeed.ca, right? So indeed is what is very popular here. So I remember I applied for so many, you know, jobs, so, so many jobs. I don't think I, I could even count them. So when i arrived what i did was i did or i drafted um different kinds of cvs for different kinds of jobs so if i'm applying for a store associate i had a cv tailored specifically for store associate jobs for home care jobs i had cv tailored specifically towards home care jobs for security jobs i had a cv tailored specifically for security jobs so i was just applying here and there and i remember the first the first interview um i was granted was at walmart and yeah so the day came i went and then it was like a group interview right and yeah i i ended up not getting the walmart job I didn't get the Walmart job. So I came back, I still had to search and search and search. And I think at the end of September, I didn't have anything. So early October, a friend of mine was like, he had gotten a job, it's a mover's job, right? So they move when people are moving like from their homes to maybe from their old homes to their new homes you move, you pack all their stuff into like a trailer and then we move them to the new home and we arrange it for them. And mind you, this job wasn't easy at all. It was, you know, very tough because you had to move a lot of heavy stuff like beds, couch, um, desk, you know, a lot of things. So I couldn't go like every day. So maybe every other day I would go and you do some hours, right? So I think in September, at the end of September, that was what I got. And because I wasn't going like, you know, all the time, like 
every single day i wasn't earning like as much as much as i wanted to so but i was still actively looking for other jobs because that wasn't the job i wanted to do in the long term but i still had to you know pick up some shifts here and there just to you know get something to take care of a little things so yeah i was still doing that job and i remember the next uh, interview i got was for a home care job i applied for so many home care jobs but one company called me and i went for the interview the interview was great so they were like they were going to call me later on and then we finalized stuff um i didn't hear from them again i think this happened early october i didn't hear from them again so i think i phoned them and they were like oh they have like so many people and you know the process has just been slow but i'll hear from them i shouldn't worry i'll hear from them soon so you know i was still looking for other jobs i was still looking for other jobs and aside the home care my second choice was i wanted a store associate job right because mostly students work in stores and it's quite flexible so a lot of people go in for that even though i wasn't so you know interested in restaurant jobs like tim hortons or starbucks or mcdonald's i still applied to you know those outlets as well and i got an interview for a mcdonald's job as well i went for it it was great it wasn't bad and i was told i was going to hear from them as well i never heard from them <laughs> quite strange that i never heard from them so i mean i was still waiting looking out for you know a job you know something i could be getting good hours from and something that could pay my bills as well so yeah and i think getting ending of october ending of october or early november first week in november my house one of my housemates had secured a job with um, a security company right and he was like oh it's not bad first when he told me about it i wasn't really digging it but i was like you know i'm not getting anything so i might as well just you know apply for it and see if it works so yeah i he told me that he was just going to talk to his supervisor and tell him that um he has a friend who is looking for a job but if there's still space uh yeah he's just recommending me or he's referring me to him so yeah uh, after he spoke to his supervisor his supervisor was like you know i could just come by the office so i went myself to the office and he just took my cv looked through and he was like i should just come it was a friday so he was like i should come the following week which was like the next tuesday or wednesday and then we'll just do an interview and we'll take it from there so yeah the next time i went to the office it was it was just like a formality right we we just did um a written interview and right afterwards uh, he asked for my particulars right and then he just gave me my my uniform and i had the job and i started right away i think the first shift i had was like a few days after my interview that day and that is what i've been doing since uh, november and it's been good it's been good it's not bad at all it's been good i think i enjoy it i mean even though i was looking for other jobs this was like even better and this is also it also has like a competitive pay as compared to the home care jobs i was really looking out for and i would say that here in canada referrals are, are big right referrals are big you can be applying for a lot of jobs online but if you know someone who works with that company and the person refers you you will get it quickly than you know applying for for it online or you just go into the store to drop your your resume right so 
referrals are really really huge here so some people also do like double jobs some people take up maybe restaurant jobs or work in two restaurants right and sometimes it because they do that because they are not getting enough hours from you know one of the jobs so they pick up a second job to you know supplements so they can also you know pay their bills and have extra money as well but it can get really really stressful it can get really really stressful and mind you you're also schooling as well so it's 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 really really stressful combining two jobs and your school but students still do it students still do it i mean one is able to pay your bills why not and others like me also have just one job that you know is enough to take you through the month or pay your bills your rent your phone bill you know and other things as well so yeah this is how i got my job my part-time job here in canada just to chip this in most of these part-time jobs pay minimum wage right and minimum wage varies from province to province so minimum wage in ontario might be different from minimum wage in newfoundland or in saskatchewan right so it varies from province to province but some of these part-time jobs pay slightly higher than the minimum wage for example home care jobs pay maybe a, a couple dollars higher than the minimum wage security jobs also such as mine pay slightly higher rates than the minimum wage of the province so it depends and then lastly i'll just advise that when you are coming into canada as an international student you don't know when you are going to get you know your part-time job right so i always tell people that it's better if you plan and at least come in and have maybe two to three months of you know your living expenses or two to three months of rent maybe you can just give an average rent or cost of rent right and i guess you find that out before you even come to your school or to the province in which you are going to be schooling so yeah you need to get that information as well i think in my previous video i spoke about um how to find accommodation and i gave an average rate of rent cost of rent for my province i'll put the link up here for you to watch it as well so yeah you need to find out the average cost of rent in the province you are moving to and then plan at least have two to three months of rent because sometimes getting a job is not straightforward like i said earlier in the video so even if you get even if you don't get the job as early and it takes you maybe a month or two to secure that job at least you have you know a buffer to rely on until you get the job right and if you get it early to hallelujah so yeah that's that's all i'll be saying about you know how to find a job here in canada so this brings us to the end of today's video if you haven't subscribed to my channel kindly do well to subscribe to my channel don't forget to like comment and share my video as well till next time bye